Chelsea fans are attending their first match at Stamford Bridge since the government launched sanctions against owner Roman Abramovich. Thomas Tuchel's side host Newcastle at 2 p.m. in a Premier League clash and some seats will be left empty. Once the sanctions were imposed earlier this week, the club were barred from selling any unsold tickets for the match or selling merchandise, with their club shop now gated off. The club are unable also to sell matchday programmes, with the only ones available to those in the press area, hospitality and those who have already paid a subscription to receive them. Fans who had held tickets for this or any other game going forward will still be able to attend matches as planned. Abramovich had been sanctioned on the back of his homeland Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Dot, dot. Russian oligarchs have been targeted since the start of the war and Abramovich was a known ally of President Vladimir Putin. Abramovich had already lined up to sell the club following the invasion, and he still will be able to do so as long as he doesn't financially benefit from the sale. The limitations on Chelsea during the remainder of his ownership though has raised plenty of concern for those at the club or supporting it. Fans attended the game against Newcastle with banners expressing their concern, with one supporter showing off a banner which said, Don't use Chelsea for your bull asterisk 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 politics. Forever Chelsea, a group help up a banner calling for supporters to be given a golden share which would give them a say over key issues related to the club. Following the sanctioning, sponsors 3 and Hyundai suspended their ties with the Some Chelsea fans were seen attending the game with the three logo scribbled out, while another fan pictured on Twitter had the logo of Trivago placed over it. Trivago stand by Chelsea but have called for a change of ownership as soon as possible. Chelsea also fear they might not be able to pay their bills despite the refining of the sanctions which are intended to help them complete the season. There are concerns they could end up in administration and incur a nine-point penalty if further changes are not made. Payday for players and staff is on April 1, with Chelsea's monthly wage bill approximately £28 million. While there are reserves to pay players next month, at present the only cash flow Chelsea have are their broadcasting revenues from the Premier League and prize money from UEFA and the FA for progressing through their respective cup tournaments, the latter being allowed by Saturday's clarifications.